paper, but I think it wasn't something that he particularly sells. Okay. Now, the estimate here is 20 to 40 pounds. That sounds rather low to me, because from my experience, anything to do with the Titanic normally creates more interest than that. Is it going to make more than 20 quid? That's the reserve. Let's find out. It's coming up over there. Real thing, there we are, where are you going to be? 30 or 40, bit of Titanic memorabilia. Full start me at 20, 20 pounds mid, 20 pounds 5, 30, 30 pounds here with sign up, 30 pounds mid, 30 pounds, may I say 5, 35, 40, 5, 50, 60. 60, tell again. 60 pounds left of me at 60 pounds, the end of the housekeeper's cupboard. At 60 pounds in the room, at 60 pounds mid, 70 anywhere. At 60 pounds going to be sold. Shout of a mission now, sold away at 60 pounds. Six, seven, eight. What's your reaction? I'm delighted. <laughs> you please. It went under the gavel for 60 quid. Take away the commission and it leaves you with 51 pounds real deal. Happy? Very happy, thank you. I'm happy, so I hope she would have brought a little bit more. An attractive ring and a glamorous dealer. Has Claire found a perfect match? Did this ring have a story? Yeah, my nan left it in her inheritance, um, but it wasn't actually my nan's. It was from her late husband's family before that. Um, it's a real family heirloom yeah. then. Yeah. So it's now yours then. Yeah. So what's made you want to part with it? Well, because it wasn't actually my nan's, it's got no sentimental value. Oh, right. Um, so, and it's just been in my house for three years. And you just thought you'd bring it along today and see what you could get then. Yeah. And you don't fancy wearing it yourself? No. No, not not, not, not your thing. Yeah. We can see there, it's just wearing a bit thin on the shank, but it's stamped 18 carat. It's in yellow gold. And we've got some really nice, nice, clear emeralds. They're very pretty. Sometimes you get emeralds that are a little bit cloudy, but they're a real nice, proper emerald colour. And two diamonds, which are nice and sparkly. Old cut. Um, I would have said this is probably... Maybe late Victorian, early Edwardian, would that maybe tie in with its history, do you yeah. think? Yeah. Well, I do like it, it's very pretty, so I'll get some cash out, see what you think. Yeah. Okay. Right. What this year around? I'll start off with £100. It's a definite no. <laughs> a definite, definite no. Okay. 150 150 is like 180 in the sale room. Uh, you know. Uh, mm. Right. Well, I'll put another 50 down, so that's 200 pounds. Is that tempting you? A little bit more. A little bit more. Well, let me tell you what the independent valuers say. They say two to 300 pounds. Bear in mind, if you go to auction, there is a commission to be deducted. We've got 200 for sure on the table. I think it's worth a little bit more, um, but it's a question of do you want to gamble and, and go to the sale room or do you want to take cash home today? See if you can tempt a little bit more. Well, you've listened to David. I think that's a fair bid. They're not big stones. It's not an important piece of jewellery. I'm going to stick at 200. Sorry. So the choice is yours. You can take the cash or try your luck in the auction. I'll take the cash. You're going to take the cash. Good choice. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you fancy getting your hands on some cash, then it's time to listen to the Duke, who has news about today's competition. Let me show you today's decorative competition item. We have a late 19th century French clock decorated with ormolu, gilt bronze, in the Rococo manner, uh, and the case is veneered with tortoiseshell. Very attractive and very decorative. It's in working order and there's a lot of interest in it. It's about to be sold any moment now under the auctioneer's gavel. And whatever it fetches, that's the amount that we're going to give away to today's lucky competition winner. Go on, give it a go. It might be your lucky day to win. Best of luck to you.
Also coming up, Michael gets nosy before he pays out. What are you going to do with the money? Put it towards some repair on the house. I'm not repairing your house. Oh. Can Michael's DIY skills fix a deal? Introducing Magic Minerals by Jerome Alexander, New York. Magic Minerals combines these color pigments with Jerome's mineral makeup. 